technically um, a Montessori bedroom just has like a floor bed and books, but we don't have a playroom. We just have a cube shelf downstairs for some toys, but this is where all we keep all of his work activities on his shelf. So this is like his room slash playroom. So over here, we just have some stuffed animals and some balls in here. This is a ring stacker with little rings that he's practicing putting on. He likes to take these off. Just some blocks he's practicing with stacking three blocks. And a little bag, he likes to put them in the little bag. This is a love every ring stacker. He's mastered this one. He's able to put the rings on, but this is a fun toy because the tube comes out and there's a ball. So he likes to just play with this and put the ball in the tube. And my daughter will pretend that these like rings are bracelets. So I just leave this out because they're playing with it. So these are our lids and jars as well as nesting cups. So he likes to practice taking the lids off and putting them back on and nesting the three little cups. This is just a tissue box and I put some play silks in there. He likes to pull these out. As you see, it's kind of ripped, but he's been playing with this a lot. Here's just some like um, chewies because he's teething. So, so we just have some Love Every toys. He puts the pegs in here. A ball and a ball. I just wanted to slide that over. This is this little hammer bench. He loves to, to hammer these little pegs. So this is another monster activity that I made super easy. Um, it's just an oatmeal box and I put a slit in it. He takes the, this is just cardboard that I cut and he puts them inside. So he's working on this. He um, has not mastered this. I actually just introduced this the other day to him. So this is new for him. And so he's working on that and then he has to be able to take the lid off after and pour them out. And he can shake this too, make a sound. So this is kind of a fun open-ended toy as well. And then we just have the Melissa and Doug Latches barn. He's practicing taking the latches off right now. It's really fun, he likes to put animals inside of here. This is a language basket with his animals, some bigger animals, and then there's some smaller ones that he can put inside the Melissa and Doug barn. These are our bully farm animals that I talked about in my Christmas video. Just balls there, loves balls. This little toy is great. He, he um, can't really quite do this yet, but he is trying super hard. He really likes this toy. He tries really hard to push it down. He can kind of almost get it. So he's really working on, on this. Just like one of those little pop toys for babies. And then went over here, we just have a spiral ring stacker that he likes and just some peg people that I painted in the little house right there. Particular triangle is used by my daughter and my son. They both love it. We have it out. I'll it folds up really easily. I'll put it away sometimes, um, but usually it's here. When I transition him to a floor bed in a few months, I'm going to have to fold this up every single night because I don't want him climbing on it when I can't see him. But for now, it just stays there. And then he loves this little rocker. I'll just pull this out for him when he wants to use this. He's too short to actually get up on it on his own right now. He loves riding on it and having me push him. So he loves this toy. And then it's a good language skill to ask for help. So I'm working on having him be able to sign help with baby sign. And then the tunnel, a play tunnel that I have. So the top here, he's just working on a little matching puzzle with animals. And this is from Melissa and Doug. And a little train stacking toy. I do a toy rotation, so these items get rotated every couple weeks. I don't rotate everything, but I'll rotate, you know, four or five items at a time. Thanks for watching, guys. Um, if you're new here, please subscribe. I'd love to have you. See you guys later. Bye.